F-111 is a two-seat, all-weather attack aircraft with derivatives ranging from the RF-111C reconnaissance aircraft to the FB-111. The airplane was never given an official name, but Air Force pilots took one look at that long anteater-like nose and nicknamed the plane the Aardvark. But don't let the rather docile title fool you. This anteater has teeth, sharp teeth. When the first aardvark was flown in 1964, it represented an entire series of firsts in military aircraft. The first use of swing wings, the first use of afterburning turbofan engines, and the first use of a terrain-following radar that allowed for low-level bombing in adverse weather and at night. One of the most important basing locations for the F-111s today is in England. From RAF Lakenheath and Upper Hayford, the F-111 represents the most powerful offensive strike force in NATO. Pardon shelters protect a total of eight squadrons of aardvarks. These are the very planes that performed the daring U.S. bombing raid on Libya. The F-111 can execute its bombing runs at 200 feet or below in any kind of weather day or night. Perhaps as proof of their respect for the aircraft, the Soviets have always asked that the F-111 be included in any strategic arms limitations talks.